Hey, see a lot of guys going switch hand. I know we just did the, the high crotch where our switch hand came in. When we try to switch hand and pass a leg, we're gonna get trapped on our hip. That's a scary position to be in, okay? So I wanna make sure that outside hand snaking under, but as I'm, as I'm on my feet, it's gonna be more of a step and a swing as I attack that leg. We're doing it closer to the mat, so it's not as intimidating, but the motion's the same. Instead of stepping and swinging, I'm just windshield wiping my ankles, okay? And windshield wiping my feet. Outside arm has to go under, and I have to get to my hip and my shoulder pretty quick, okay? Come on, Bowers. So, when, when, I, when he's in on the double, okay? When he's in on the double, it's about me taking an angle away. I really want to just sprawl and get my hips in and my legs away. Can't do it. So I've got to go to plan B. So that means I got to take the angle away. Again, he wants to come in, make a, make a right hand turn, put, me up, put all that weight on my outside leg and attack it. I've got to take that angle away. So I'm windshield wipering and I'm snaking. See how I took that angle away and kind of stretched him out? He's not in a very powerful position anymore. But notice, my ankles came to my butt but my feet are in the mat. Then I drive and get that sole. It might take me a second to get to it, but I'm driving to get to it. Then I'm punching across the body. Punching. Right here, I'm carrying that momentum to this position. Okay, I know we're doing it slow right now, but when I attack it in the match, man, I'm hitting that position hard. Okay, I'm attacking that leg pass hard. And it won't be any different if we're on our feet. Okay, like I said, we're just doing it close to the mat right now, just so you are more comfortable. When I'm on my feet, it's no different. Right? Starting to get to this position. And again, if he starts grabbing across, get your feet back. Tack his wrists. Wrestle this position here. But I'm carrying that momentum from my initial pass here, outside arm under, and I'm driving, 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 hip down all the way to this position. Okay? So I want to make sure that we're getting to our hip and our shoulder pretty quick. Some of you guys are getting your outside arm under, but you can't snake it because you don't have the angle. But when I windshield wiper, and get the angle, big difference. Now I'm on my left hip, left shoulder, but I'm not here long. I'm only here long enough to get to the sole. Once I get to the sole, it's windshield wiper, it straight, drive and punch. He's doing a good job of floating. Driving on my feet, driving on my feet. Get here, start reading wrists. Start getting to your positions to score, okay? If you ever get there and you get lost, turn towards the legs. If you get lost, turn towards the legs. Can't go wrong turning towards the legs. Okay, questions? Anybody need to see it again? We good? One more again? All right. Windshield wipe. Take that angle away. Outside arm snakes. Here, feet to the mat. Drive, get that sole. Drive, 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 drive. He's got me here, get feet in the mat. Feet in the mat here. We'll talk about finishing here, okay? I gotta start attacking wrist, get my feet in the mat, pressure into him. Trap him on his hip. Start peeling some of these things off. Okay, even if I have this hand and he's got my foot with his bottom hand. Not a good look for him. I'm just getting, getting low right here. Just waiting for him to wrestle. Not a lot of positions he can squirm to that are gonna be beneficial to him. Good?